Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel, it's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, makeup hauls, first impressions and all things beauty then you've come to the right channel. This is my second time attempting to film this video, I don't know what is going on or if it's just me. I am doing a haul video today, I'm going to have two hauls coming out, this is the more high end haul. And the other one is a more affordable haul. So I have quite a bit of products. I'm just going to get started talking about them. Hopefully this is something that you're interested in seeing and you will stay tuned for the video. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this Lancome Renergy HCF Triple Serum. I've been looking for a serum. Can you see that? That's what it looks like. Anyway, I've been looking for a new serum because my serum that I love, love, love so much I've talked about it in the past, has been discontinued. I've purchased as much as I could before they discontinued it and I just love it. So this is the IT Cosmetics number 50 serum. It had a little bit of everything in it and it was gorgeous on the skin, I loved it. So anyway, I purchased this Lancome serum. It has hyaluronic acid, ferulic acid, and vitamin C. Hopefully this is going to be a good product for my skin. I've been loving Lancome products lately. I've been wearing their moisturizer, an eye cream, and a serum. Not this serum, a different serum, but I'm really enjoying the way it has my skin looking and feeling. Don't mind these visitors. It's my fault. I've been eating everything that I should not be eating. Life happens and sometimes you have to emotionally um, satisfy <laughs> your cravings so I'm not pregnant or anything like that it was just more like stress and me emotionally eating so don't mind these pimples I have quite a lot <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start with my first product I guess I'll start with these foundations because they're right in front of me this is the always on skin balance and foundation plus hyaluronic acid and adaptogens I don't know if you guys have heard of this foundation but I've been seeing it all over social media and I wanted to try it so I have it in the color D 20 W the package reminds me very much of the L'Oreal infallible foundation and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can't wait to try this. If you guys are interested in seeing a review or wear test, please let me know and I'll be happy to do it. <laughs> then I purchased the MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. I have it in the color NW50. This is what the package is looking like. This is the pretty bottle. I love the gold lettering. It makes it look so luxe. I'm hoping that I have better luck with this foundation than I did years ago because Max foundations always were so orange on me. Like they wouldn't start out orange, but by the time it was on, you was like, what happened? So hopefully this will be better. Again, if you guys want to see a review and a wear test, please let me know and I will get on it. I'm going to include my Makeup by Mario and my House Labs concealers because they're new products that I purchased since my last haul. And I've done reviews on both of these products already, so if you are interested, please go check them out if you haven't seen them already, if you have not watched the videos already. I think I did like two videos or three videos testing out these products. Yeah. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked in the Snake. I purchased this online, so I really didn't see these palettes in person. I usually like to go in store, but I've been very busy and I haven't had time to go in store. I'm trying to get there, but I did do a lot of shopping online. So this is what the palette looks like. These are the colors, and I will be reviewing this palette. If you're interested in seeing a review and hear my thoughts on this palette, please leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know whether or not you'd like to see me review this palette. Next up, I have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. I was on a fence about buying this palette because I heard great things about it, but not from people that are my complexion. And I went into the store and the girl was like, mm-mm, that's not gonna work for you. And I was like, I hate when people tell me what's gonna work for me and what's not gonna work for me because you don't know what somebody likes. But anyway, I didn't purchase it that day because I didn't like the way it looked in the store and then I didn't like the way she said it, so I left. But then I kept seeing these swatches online and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. So this is what the palette looks like. I love the packaging, it's so pretty. Very minimalistic, very clean looking, very three dimensional this is a plastic coating on top of the actual raised I wouldn't call it letters but this raised um, I don't even know what you would call it I don't think it's a N or a D it's a very pretty palette 
this is what the colors look like it has a very substantial size mirror if you guys want to see a review on this palette and whether or not this palette is dark skin friendly please let me know leave me a comment in the comment section I'm excited to try any of this makeup because you know me like I love new makeup okay so I have the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 matte eyeshadow palette this is the package that it comes in this is classic Patrick Ta I love his rose gold he's not the only person that does rose gold but I still love it this is what the actual palette looks like it's beautiful just a really nice change from the full metallic palette I guess he wanted to kind of differentiate, you know, maybe last year's and, you know, maybe one that he did quite recently. I like it. I like the fact that he has that. It's not like a sticker. It's, it's like embedded in the actual mirrored top or mirrored cover. So anyway, this is the palette. It's a very interesting neutral palette if you have not seen my review of this palette please go check it out i would love it if you do check it out and if you have seen my review let me know your thoughts is this a palette that you would pick up let me know then i have this anastasia full romance palette this is what the box looks like it's a very nice cardboard textured kind of box it reminds me of the modern renaissance palette i don't know if you guys remember that one but it reminds me of the packaging from that palette this is what the actual palette is looking like it is a velvety kind of feel the whole thing front and back a textured velvet very pretty very luxe looking the color story is a very jewel tone color story and i could see these colors looking really beautiful on my complexion if you guys are interested in seeing a review and a few looks with this palette please let me know i will be excited to try these out and swatch them because i have not but the color story is very pretty i love the jewel tones i really do and that purple is talking to me yeah then i have last but not least in the eyeshadow palette realm is the Patrick Top for a holiday palette. It's called the Major Holiday Face Palette. Patrick Top for face. Beautiful, hot, pink, metallic packaging. Gorgeous. I just think this is so, so pretty. Then you have this gorgeous hot pink mirrored palette. It is gorgeous. Very hard to keep clean, like I said, but I just love how pretty it is. It is very holiday-like. I can't wait to try it. Let me show you what it looks like inside. It's a beautiful palette. Let me know if you guys want to see a video with me reviewing or trying this palette. I'm excited because this is a gorgeous palette. It really, really is. Okay, so I have two lipsticks from NARS. Actually, three lipsticks from NARS, but one of them I want to say is in my pocketbook or something like that. And these are the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. This is the color Get Up and Stand Up. It's this pretty pink color right here. And then I have the beautiful red. It's a blue red called Star Woman. Gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. I love a vampy red lip. It's nothing like it. So let me know if you guys want to see me incorporate that in a video because I will. Then I have these two Patrick Ta blushes. I have She's Given. Classic Patrick Ta packaging. Then I have, I'm going to show it to you. And then I have She's Wanted, which is a beautiful full blush. She's Given is a very blue pink. Like I can't wait to try it. I haven't tried it on yet. This is beautiful metallic Patrick Ta <laughs> rose gold. This is what the duo looks like. Very much a full palette. I cannot wait to try this on if I haven't tried it on already. <laughs> yeah, and then this one is the Patrick Ta She's Giving. Beautiful. It has a little cover to keep the cream from getting destroyed. Beautiful, beautiful blushes. I can't wait to try them. Then I have two more blushes from Give Beauty. Feeling Cheeky and Ex-Girlfriend. This is the packaging that it comes in. Beautiful, beautiful component. I love it. It reminds me of Louis Vuitton a little bit. It says Give. And this one is the color Ex-Girlfriend. These are both powder formulas. Very nice. I don't know how, how pigmented they are. I have not tried them. If you guys would like to see them, please let me know. And, oh. This one is a pretty orangey peach kind of color called Flirty Talk. 
I don't have that many peach colored blushes. I do have some peach blushes, but I don't have that many. So let me know if you want to see me try those blushes on. That is everything from me, guys. I actually have two hauls. This one is gonna be, even though it's a lot of products, it went pretty quickly. I didn't think it was gonna go this quick because I do have a, a whole bunch of affordable products as well. Hopefully this was short and sweet and you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Let me know which products you wanna see me try first. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you guys. You guys are holding me down. You guys are motivating me and keeping me going. Thank you so much. I love you guys, if I didn't say that already. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would do so. It means so, so much to me. Also, if you like this video, please give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.